I think I'm kind of over Harley Quinn. Well, let me start off by saying that, like, overall, I do love Harley Quinn. We're the same age. We were both born in 1992. Um, her father, Paul Dini, did not know my father, but we were both Northeasterners born in that year. And, you know, because of that, Harley Quinn has always been a part of my life. She's in Batman the Animated Series. She has never not existed for me. And I appreciate her evolution as a character. I appreciate Paul Dini using that character to talk about domestic violence. I think it was one of the first times I ever really saw that in media and even so it took me a really really long time to identify the toxicity of it and really like come to terms with it and I think that that show is so amazing for so many reasons but because it could make a character like Harley Quinn and give her the storyline that they did just shows why that show overall is untouched. So I love Harley Quinn and you know throughout her evolution as a character, especially because Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmati, like I feel like she is really transformed from like villain to anti-heroine and that's cool with me but I feel like people who are writing for Harley Quinn now do not really understand how her character has evolved especially after the new 52 and because she has been so popular she is taking over other spaces that used to belong to other female characters and they're slowly being pushed out and I find that a little bit suspicious especially because it seems to be happening in the exact same space which is the birds of prey. They're, right now there are going to be three Harley Quinn products that are coming out. There's going to be the Marco Robbie birds of prey movie which is also called the emancipation of Harley Quinn which yikes. Um, they are going to be doing the comic book uh, series Harley Quinn and the birds of prey and they are also doing an upcoming uh, for DC Universe Harley Quinn show, which I have watched uh, early screeners for, and I have a lot of thoughts about that, which I, you guys will get when the embargo is done on both the Mary Sue and on this channel. All I can say is, yikes, our Harley Quinn has sort of not been allowed to evolve in media the way she has evolved in the comic book series. In terms of her with the Birds of Prey, I don't like it because they've been pushing out Barbara for it. And Barbara being a part of the Birds of Prey was a very big deal, especially because it was post-Killing Joke, and it was really a way of giving Barbara her autonomy back, first as Oracle, then later as Batgirl, and I think when she's not there, it feels incomplete. I know that the roster is always rotated. I appreciate it has a rotating roster, but at the same time, to have a Birds of Prey movie without her feels wrong. And I'm sure that it's probably because they're going to do something with her in the Batman movie because they've already cast a character for, they've already cast Jim Gordon for that, which means we're probably going to be getting a black Batgirl or a biracial Batgirl of, of some regard, which is exciting, but I wish that they had waited or instead of making a Birds of Prey movie, they had just made a Gotham Sirens movie because I feel like Harley still works best as a character in a group when she is with the other female baddies. With the film, I excuse a lot of that because again, they have the stuff going on with the Batman movie and also because Margot Robbie is producing the movie. She knows this industry, she wants to get them checks while she can get them and I have no problem with that. And also she created a Birds of Prey movie where like there are literally only two white women in it and everyone else is a woman of color. So I'm like, thank you Margot, you're doing what you gotta do and I appreciate that. At the same time, my problem with like that and the new animated series is that Harley Quinn being emancipated has been a thing since 2013 at best, you know, at the latest 2013. You can make arguments for before then, but Harley doing her own thing and not being attached to the Joker has been a part of her modern history for a huge chunk of it. And the way that we still have to have these narratives about her breaking up with the Joker and like leaving the Joker is like, we're beyond that. And what's usually happens is that it's replaced with the severe hypersexualization of Harley Quinn, which I also find really bothersome because she's a character that used to wear a onesie. I feel as if a lot of people use Harley as a way of having that crazy girl, uh, crazy hot kind of fetish kind of feel for it in like the Suicide Squad movie, both the animated one and the live action one, and this upcoming show. And it bothers me because I think that it's a poor use of Harley, especially because I think that especially female writers have worked really, really hard to push her past that point. It belies the way that that character has evolved. Like with the Birds of Prey stuff uh, in the movie, taking the whole out universe version of it, it also messes with my head because like 
in universe, Harley is still a bad person. You know, in Suicide Squad, it says that she assisted in the murder of a Robin, which can be implied to be Jason Todd. So, like, in the universe that we are in, like, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn is a murderer, like an active murderer, and now she's gonna be a good guy with absolutely no real evolution in that regard besides like the Joker and I broke up so now I'm gonna go do my thing. She's so overexposed and people want to work with that character because she's so iconic. Just because she's iconic does not mean that everyone knows how to write her and I think that especially dudes like Paul Dini is the exception to the rule like he's a great writer he created her so he gets the right to do whatever he wants to do but I feel like having watched this Harley Quinn show which is mostly written by dudes and um a lot of other things with her in it I just feel like the overexposure isn't because people want to deal with her as like a victim of domestic abuse or her rehabilitation as a heroine it's about telling the same narratives of pain over and over again with Harley and I find that kind of disturbing especially because a lot of these adaptations of her she's still so fucking heteronormative like Harley Quinn is a polyamorous queer woman at this point. I don't know if she's bi or pan. She's probably she probably would idea as pan anyway. Um, and yet there's still so many painfully heterosexual depictions of Harley Quinn in media. Like this new series, totally heterosexual. Is is and I'm not done with it. So maybe something will happen. But like, she's not queer at all. And it, it, it's like it, it it blows minds. Like in in Birds of Prey, like hopefully they'll hint at that. But like they don't even have Poison Ivy in there, so I'm just kind of like, who who should who should get a date? Dinah? No. The DC universe has been very bad at knowing what to do with its intellectual property, from the fumbles it made with Swamp Thing to I think not really promoting Doom Patrol as well they could do to making Titans a show that was just so much less interesting than it could have been that it really worries me sometimes that like DC wants to us who are fans of their brand to defend them over Marvel and all this kind of stuff and like Marvel's not perfect I mean I haven't even seen every Marvel movie I think the thing I hate is being called a shill for Marvel when they have not given me a single cent I've, I've received no checks so if I'm a shill please pay me um would love it Thank you. I'll actually go see those Ant-Man movies if you do. But as a DC fan, as someone who like loves those those stories, those characters, it's like the people behind the scenes only half know what they're talking about, and it shows. Harley Quinn is iconic. The Joker is iconic. These are characters that every child knows, but they don't know comics at all. Like now that Iron Man and all stuff through the MCU are, are big names, that's one thing. But pre the MCU. People knew all these damn DC characters that we're seeing right now. There isn't one character that DC has promoted of their brand besides maybe Doom Patrol that people were not familiar with in some way. Um, and yet they don't know what to do with it. And I think that Harley Quinn is probably the biggest outlier. Like, people want to write stuff with her because she's such a compelling character. But what makes her compelling is the evolution of her but she has just remained so stagnant as a as a character when she's adapted and i really feel it's it's upsetting to me because i don't want to see her belittled or mistreated by writers more than she has but i just feel like she is just reduced being attached to the joker in a way that she hasn't been for years the idea that she has to break away from him is like she's done that harley quinn has successfully emancipated herself She's free. She's she's a free bitch baby, and I just would like to see if we're gonna have this over situation of Harley Quinn that it can be about her, and Zergo can just be completely in the back burner, completely behind her. I'm over it. She's over it. We need to catch up. And I just want to see better for her. And there are also just better characters that could be getting all this attention too. It's like, damn. Can we get a bumble? Give me can we get Bumblebee something for once? Damn. Put her in the fucking Birds of Prey. Put Vixen in something. Can someone put Can someone put Vixen in a, in a movie? Put Poison Ivy in a movie for God's sakes again. Like we haven't even had her. Zatanna. Like there's all these other really great female characters that we could be seeing but we're just not getting any of it. And I just wish that <sighs> it's always the same characters. Like uh, enough Harley Quinn. I love you. You're great. You're gonna be in, in this shitty TV show and this hopefully good movie and this comic book. But like after that Let's start branching out and giving some other underdeveloped DC women something to do, please. So anyway, let me know what you think. How do you feel about Harley? How do you feel about her recent writing? Do you think that people are doing right by her? And if there's any Harley Quinn comics you think that I should check out that have been really good recently, I'm a little bit behind, let me know. Alright, see you guys later.